could you share your uh, uh, final yeah. thoughts or you know tips for software engineers who are uh, you know in the market who want to break into top tech companies or maybe like Oracle, Amazon, Meta, and uh, mm -hmm. what do you have to say to them? Um, I mean, yeah. like if you want to crack into like any big dream company that you want to uh, get into, it requires some sort of investment that you have to that you have to be ready to do it on yourself, right? Uh, you should be willing to do that uh, because you are only upskilling yourself and you are promoting yourself and you have and you are basically educating yourself for your career. I think you should have that mindset uh, when you start. Uh, like aspiring for big tech companies or like any companies that you want to go to doing it all by yourself i think it will take some time and uh, uh, resources from you and if you want to cut short that process getting a right mentor and getting their guidance who already worked that uh, process their expertise would definitely help you like moving towards like where you want to reach right i'm not saying like you reach it quicker it depends on how how much effort you are trying to put uh, it, it depends on those factors as well but getting those uh, expertise like from people who already knew the process who already know the ins and outs of technical interviews right working with them I think it's the best investment and it yields you best ROI as well right and uh, another thing is these interviews with the big tech or like like big companies they're not just asking you to write code it's a mix mix of play of so many skills that they want to check and uh, who already knows those things like uh, working with them and learning from them i think it's best investment you can do for your career okay yes uh, you nailed it right i know uh, i know everyone do have some skill gaps and and our process of course it is not just mock interviews we go very deep into the concepts or uh, you know, upskilling what you lack. And of mm. course, our um, expert mentors, they ident identify those gaps and then they try to build a personalized programs to address them. Finally, we try to focus on the right roadmap and a customized membership mentorship. So for yeah. every software engineer, it's not going to be the same for everyone. And that's how our plan is. Um, you know, thank you for right. sharing your views on that one. People, as you said, people uh, don't understand the real ROI, yes. right? Written on investment yeah. here. Because um, even after spending just a few thousands of dollars on mentorship and mock interviews, you landed a 200 plus K offer. Yeah. Right? Offer within the grace period uh, of the H1B. So that's the yeah. kind of result that shows how the right guidance and discipline preparation can completely change the game, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. another thing is it's the timing that all matters uh, because I was on a time crunch. Uh, I have to start early and uh, uh, I have that right guidance as early as possible instead of like, uh, like waiting too long. That will only impact my interview preparation process. So I would say starting early as much as possible uh, would help you uh, like interviewing and uh, uh, like clearing those interviews as well. Yes, 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 yes. That is right. And I've seen so many of the software engineers, they reach out to me and then they come back. They don't yeah. take my mentorship program and then they come back after two, three months saying, oh, Lakshmi, can you help me out? And then they restart the whole process all over again. But then you did it right, you know, come take up a mentorship program right the day you get laid off. Or maybe, you know, think about, okay, there are things going on in my company and I have the gut mm -hmm. feeling I may be laid off. People get to know, mm -hmm. right? Don't you think so? Yes. We all come to know, yeah. right? If there is things yeah. happening in the company, in your team. People all get mm -hmm. to know, yes. And uh, so I would always suggest to start the search before you're laid off so that you already have an offer when the layoff yeah. comes, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, and of course, there are uh, courses in the market like, you know, for $50 or $100 system design courses, but you need to be very clear. What are you looking for? Are you looking just for um, a starting point to, to understand about system design? Okay, well, go ahead with that. But then you're looking for a long-term perspective of landing an offer, you know, 
and being uh, growing in a company, then I think you should definitely look out for something where you can have a practical approach towards learning system design in a one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. So that is the difference between learning a $50 course or um, doing a program, you know, with us. Right. And, and another thing uh, with the courses, right? Uh, they don't teach you the specific interview skills. Uh, they teach you the, I mean, it's like a tutorial. You, you go and learn what's, like you learn keywords and you understand them. But uh, interviewing is a different skill altogether. Uh, you have time constraints. You have, you are basically talking to a stranger that you never yeah. know. Uh, those things, I don't think you will learn in a course. Uh, those things, you need some sort of, expert guidance to guide you uh, towards that uh, course yeah maybe a starting point maybe you can learn on your own space uh, those things are good but uh, interview for interviewing it's it's not 100% uh, going to help you yeah. yes 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 yeah when you talk about this like uh, the mentorship yes so leaders who are in this market um, be it Elon Musk or be it Sundar Pichai you know CEO of um, uh, Google. So we've seen they also have mentors, right? Yes. Yeah, everyone needs mentors. And I've seen that software engineers feel, no, without a mentor, I think I can succeed. It's not possible. You need someone who can help you, who can guide you, okay, to yes. see where you stand and what are the things that you need so that you can yeah. reach that goal quickly, okay? That is the reason of having a mentor. If you don't have a mentor, you may get an offer, maybe with not within the two, three months time, maybe in six months yeah. or maybe in a year. But think about the fact that you get a job within three months, compare it to a job you got in six months or a year, you're losing on right. that pay, I the three months or the nine months of pay. Okay. So yeah. just by investing a few thousands in yes. a mentorship program, right ahead, you get laid off or yeah. the time you get to know there is going to be layoffs in the market in the company yes you're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars right yes so you need to look at the bigger picture at this point of time rather than saving this few thousand bucks right yeah i think that is most undervalued skill that people mm. look at i mean especially software engineers like mentorship uh, I mean, I was in that situation. Why do you need mentorship if you have the right skills? No, that is not the right perspective. You need some sort of mentorship throughout your career. Otherwise, uh, you you will never know what the mistakes you are doing. You will tell yourself that you are mm -hmm. going into the right direction. But having someone uh, who has gone through that path can show you your mistakes, can show you where you are doing good, mm -hmm. can help you learn better. Uh, I think... I think that's the right perspective to have uh, in terms of having a mentorship. Yeah. I would believe. And then you are going faster in your job, in yes. your career journey, right? Y so yes. You, so at this point of time, you know, even if you are, it's not losing a few thousands, it is gaining yeah. your career, you know, yes. by a few years having a right mentor. Okay. That is how it counts. Yeah. Thank you, yes. Thank you for sharing, you know, your perspective. And, uh, you know, I wish you... All the very best for your new journey with Oracle. Okay, yeah. so thank you, Nishal, again, you know, for those invaluable insights uh, to future software engineers who are navigating this um, challenging market. And that's definitely a lot of information for our subscribers today. Do you want to share one line maybe before we end this podcast? Because we had a great time. I know we've been talking yeah. a lot for a long time. Uh, I mean, I think uh, given the job market now, I think uh, it's best investment I would say I have uh, done recently uh, joining this and working with some really cool people like Lakshmi and uh, Sharez and Chetan. Uh, they really helped me to up level, real, up skill real fast and uh, uh, motivated me and guided me throughout this process. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I really enjoyed my time with uh, you all people. Thank you. Thank you so much for the positive recommendation. But I still say it is what your hard work, your discipline, which, helped, which definitely helped you to get that offer, you know, those multiple offers within that time frame of yeah. 60 days, you know. Thank you. Congratulations again. Okay. And to all the others, your my other subscribers and um, attendees or, um, you know, people who are watching this podcast, 
please go ahead and check out our one-on-one mentorship program, you know, with our team of um, senior FANG engineers, uh, you know, with mock interviews so that we can help you to land tech jobs in FANG companies or other top tier companies within a time frame of a few weeks or months, okay? And definitely go and find those details in the description section. Okay, so you're also welcome to connect with us on our free newsletter on LinkedIn and Substack and follow us on uh, Instagram. Okay, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, so that this benefits all engineers in this challenging market. Okay, thank you again. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep learning and keep growing.